In the next week or two, maybe even this Thursday, we get to we get to see we we'll, we'll get an eye on what Disney Plus and She Hulk are going to do with a beloved character in Daredevil, and how they are going to destroy it. How could I possibly say that? What makes me think they're going to destroy it? Well, unfortunately, I've subjected myself to the first six episodes of She Hulk. And I have absolutely no faith. I, unfortunately, I have not watched the Netflix adaptation of Daredevil, but I've heard nothing, nothing but good things about it. I need to buckle down and actually sit down and watch it. So everything I've heard is great. They do the character great. Charlie Cox is, is a beloved character. Is it the character? Who's the character? he's the actor you see like i said i didn't watch the show but in a way i am looking forward to seeing what they do to him in the she hulk series i have faith that they're going to absolutely destroy him make him a character that people aren't expecting but this little information came out courtesy of bounding into comics Charlie Cox apparently had some assumptions or some speculations about where the Born Again series will take it. And he believes that based on the title, now this is all speculation, but according to Bounding in the Comics, here's the title. Daredevil Born Again will ignore previous series lore, according to actor Charlie Cox. Such great news for Daredevil fans, fans of the Netflix. It's going to be a dumpster fire. In a move which is bound to fray the nerves of Daredevil fans around the globe, lead actor Charlie Cox reve recently revealed that the upcoming Daredevil Born Again series will jettison existing lore and material in favor of a brand new approach. This is bad news for the majority of fans who consistently rank Netflix's Daredevil series as the best televised MCU spinoff to date. Now, the article goes more into his quote. I'm not going to play the video, but... Something he said, surprising revelation during an interview with Extra TV at D23 Expo. Quote, it is a season one. It is not a season four. So it is a whole new thing, which I think is the way to go. If you're going to do it again, do it differently. The actor remarked, citing Kevin Feige as the source of the change. There is a major problem with that. I think we should go off in a different route. Well, fans of the Netflix Daredevil they don't want you to go off in a different route. This statement alone is going to immediately turn off at least half of the Daredevil fans, of the Netflix Daredevil fans. They see things like this. They see change. People don't like change. And I could understand if there was a series from 15, 20, 30 years ago that you want to change it, you want to adapt it or whatever. I could give that a shot, but... I don't think the Netflix Daredevil series was that long ago. Fans were so excited when it was announced that Born, when Born Again was announced, people want to see Kingpin. They want to see Daredevil. They want to see these characters on the screen again. They were absolutely, they were beloved. The action was great. The acting was great. The stories were great. But when you immediately come out and say, nah, we're going to change it. We're going to go a different route. Based on the way they see Disney doing things, which eh, everyone has their own opinion, but you announce change like that, they immediately think negatively. So despite the big reveal, the actor also admitted that he wasn't necessarily in the loop regarding all things Daredevil as the franchise moves forward. So yes, this is speculation based on what he's heard. He doesn't he says, I don't know anything. I haven't seen a script. My feeling is based on the title, Born Again. I think that the sense is it is a new beginning. It is going to be different. It is going to be totally different. It is going to be new stories and new ideas. I wonder, not a lot of people like this yellow, the yellow outfit. Some people may like it. Some people don't. But is it going to follow that, that outfit? Is he going to have the yellow outfit? Is he going to have the, the red outfit? I really want Titania, Tatiana. Oh, Lord have mercy. I'm getting ahead of myself. New stories and ideas are fine, but if it comes at the cost of what... Yes, this is where I agree. If it comes at the cost of what made Netflix Daredevil 
series such a phenomenal hit, the result could prove disastrous. That that statement right there is that's an understatement. Matt Murdock's brief cameo in Spider-Man No Way Home proved to be one of the most exciting highlights of the film. I'll disagree on that one. I enjoyed the entire film. My favorite part of No Way Home was when all three Spider-Man uh, were were swinging around the Statue of Liberty. That was what did it for me, probably because I didn't watch Daredevil. I can understand the fans' excitement, but he was just Matt Murdock sitting in Peter Parker's kitchen. So... If you want to get excited for that, cool. But since that time, Daredevil's helmet has shown... Yeah, they teased his helmet in She-Hulk. The worst possible time. I have I have no, no faith that they're going to do Daredevil justice. Um, <laughs> so apparently Charlie Cox wants to see Tatiana Maslany portraying She-Hulk again. But how would you actually... If they're ev- if they even stay half as faithful to the Netflix adaptation of Daredevil, how could you go from the way the She-Hulk character has been per- portrayed so far? How could you mix that in to the Daredevil Born Again series? They drop they drop the ball in my opinion. They dropped the ball with the She-Hulk attorney at law and then they ran it over with the steamroller. And they had the opportunity to build up a strong, an, an actual strong female character who was coming to terms with her newfound powers and coming to grips with what she was able to do, building up her own self-confidence. I don't know, actually following a storyline from the comic where she loves being She-Hulk. You know, it's possible, I believe, there's either three or four episodes of She-Hulk left. I don't see that as as being enough time to complete any sort of character arc for She-Hulk. There's been absolutely no development in the character, no no hero's journey, no struggle with anything. They came so very close with the Wrecking Crew or what everyone's calling the Wrecking Crew when she was looking at herself in, look, she was looking at her reflection in the car window. I felt I got my hopes up and they were dashed on the rocks. So... Even if Tatiana Maslany shows up in Daredevil Born Again, I don't think they would do a good job with it still. So, Charlie Cox says, I really want Tatiana to come back. I had such a blast working with her, and the character's chemistry was so fun, and I'm really excited to see that episode, so I would love for her to make an appearance in the show. Now... Is Charlie Cox trying to talk everything up to get people excited or is he delusional? (laughs) Because there's, there's just been absolutely nothing, nothing in, in She-Hulk that's entertaining with the exception of the guy jumping out the window to get away from the women bickering, but that's neither here nor there. Ah, classic Daredevil will remain a fan favorite. Yep. Until they decide to change things and delete it. During the interview with Extra TV, the actor gushed over fans' reaction to the OG series getting canceled. Yep. It is a huge shout out to the Save Daredevil folks because really they want to work. They went to work and they didn't give up on the dream. And there was a long time period where I was like, I don't think it's going to happen. Well, it did happen. Uh, Cox may learn the hard way that death is a better alternative to the hell of watching a beloved character run through a radicalized ideological meat grinder in an era of hyper-partisan wokeness. Wow, we're ending the article off on a, on a high note. In the end, Daredevil will undoubtedly be sullied by the same nefarious forces who have obliterated countless pop culture characters in the span of less than a decade. The writing is phenomenal. Far better. Who's that? Slade Hale. Fantastic writing. I need to learn. I have no faith in the Daredevil appearance in She-Hulk. I have zero faith in Born Again. I hope I'm wrong. I'm going to say this right now. We hear time and time again. If you don't like it, why are you watching? If you hate it so much, why are you watching? I don't hate it. I want to like it. I want to give the show a chance. That's why I'm still watching it. I'm going to watch Born Again. I'm going to, I need to go. Well, <laughs> should I go back and watch the original Netflix Daredevil series and then watch the She-Hulk version and Born Again? 
what is one going to sully my opinion of the other? Let me know what you think. I'm sure everybody, anyone who cares to comment on the video is going to say, yes, you need to go watch it. Screw this Disney out, Disney crap. I'm going to give it a shot one way or another. I will give my honest opinion. I try to give an unbiased opinion. But that's it for now. Do you think Disney Plus will do Daredevil justice, whether it is in the She-Hulk attorney at Yawn or whether it's going to be in Daredevil Born Again? Will Disney handle the character properly? Let me know what you think. If you should do so, choose. If you like what I say, if you like me running my mouth, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you, just, if you don't mind. If you don't like what I have to say, Leave a dislike, shit post in the comments, make fun of me. I appreciate it all the same. I hope to see you on the next one.